Why is speed good? Speed is good because we can really use the iPhone wherever we go now with information. This is the system, again, running. I, I don't like this layout so much. It's an Apple layout, but it's an early version. We will have all the reports, like other systems now, we will all, all the reports we have in the system with an icon, like, like Google image search. So not in a hierarchy, and you have to know them, but because a pro knows uh, if, if I want to do uh, sales analysis, um, then it looks like this here. And he knows this is the one I always use. And here it is. This was, we are at the end of the second quarter. I am the CEO. I got the iPad. I'm new with the iPad. Marty, our marketing manager, is very concerned now because I have a really relatively... Um, untalented finger. Uh, he wanted to have a professional demo person here. Forgive me if I make a mistake, Marty. Uh, so it's the end of the second quarter. Uh, the blue line is uh, our sales budget. Uh, green is what we invoiced. Um, dark or brown is uh, confirmed orders. We can, we can invoice in that period. And uh, of the, the yellow or ochre is um, opportunities. So it is, um, we are nearing the end of the, the quarter, and I'm asking the system, why, why are we not making the quarter? And the system tells me, we are short in footwear. We do all kinds of apparel, so we are short in footwear. And why are we short in footwear? So I, have, I thought we are doing extremely well in footwear. It's our strongest product line. I drilled down. You know this. You have seen this. This is Business Explorer. This is just Business Explorer using SQL, a massive SQL statement containing 40 sub-SQL statements going against the real-time OLTP database of By Design. I have to repeat this several times. And everything is doing fine in footwear except our sprinter shoes. Sprinter shoes. What's wrong with sprinter shoes? <coughs> Through a navigation pad called Sebon, funny name, we can go straight into the OLTP system and look at sales orders. Boom. This is, by the way, the speed of the new system. So that, that is a real system. I, was told to repeat this again and again. That's the commercial. And it's obvious there is an unconfirmed or insufficiently confirmed order for 315K. I look at it. It's for South Africa. Guess what? There's a soccer world championship. And the requested date was in June. Confirmed date is in July. And if you look up the calendar, the World Championship doesn't last that long. I think it's over end of June. So the boots should be there. This is, these are not the boots for the players, but all the kids in South Africa will go in a shop and want to have soccer boots. OK, so that is, for me, the reason to use that phone. I am not allowed to use it because of the interference. And I call the production manager, the production manager, sits in front of a Windows-based screen of by design somewhere in manufacturing, and I call Peter Lawrence. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Peter. So Hi, I, 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 I have a problem with the quarter. The second quarter it looks actually good, but something is wrong with the order for the, the soccer boots for South Africa, 315K. People told me this is all done and will be invoiced uh, in, um, uh, in June, so it's in the quarter, and now I see uh, it slipped into July. What, what happened? Okay, so let me, let, look, let me look this up. I need to check in the system, but uh, as we are on the same in-memory database, that should be quick. So um, we, will, we will just check in the system, and this is the business by design on the same in-memory database as we used in the Explorer in, in the section before. 
we just, uh, we just go uh, to all the orders who have an exception. So as you can see here, we can simply go to it and uh, find out uh, how, uh, how many orders we have with exceptions, and that should tell us very quickly, um, out of the millions of orders we are managing in this in-memory database, uh, which ones have exceptions. So what we can see already is there is an order around 7,500 7, shoes, most likely, which are problematic. So let me check uh, the schedule lines hustle. Uh, what the problem is here. This is most likely the order from Silver Star Corporation you were talking about. Yeah, it's Silver Star. And, uh, okay, we have a little issue here. Um, um, we, have to, um, we have to take this one, sorry. And what we can see now is that uh, the confirmed um, date is too late. As you said already before, we are trying to ship this end of July and uh, then the championship is over. So we have to do something about it. So um, let me go to uh, the planning and look up some of the details, and then we try to figure out if we can change this. Obviously, uh, production planning now runs completely in memory as well, from the ATP check to the planning runs for all set of data we have here. And what we can see now when we go to the uh, product information is um, that we have these uh, 7,500 shoes here confirmed too late. What I will do now is I will go Fast. here. No, this is not a problem. We just go here and uh, change the date for the shoes uh, to, July, uh, to June, potentially. So we have three weeks or so to produce them, and then we will talk to the team how we do this exactly. We have to change some of the planning constraints, do some extra shifts to do that. So I will put a first of uh, June in here and um, release this to production. And uh, then we're going to save this and uh, go back and see if the availability check is right. So let me save this briefly. And then we go back to supply planning. And I can do this with this uh, window screen here just by touch, uh, as you do it on the iPad as well. And now we just go and see uh, <coughs> here. My fingers are potentially a little bit too big. And check the availability of this. And then we should see how so that this gets reconfirmed. And then we should be good. Uh, currently, we are still a yellow. Uh, what happens now is we do a full planning run in memory. We do a full availability check in memory. And as we have a couple of million items here, it took us maybe two to three seconds now, which is an awesome result. Normally, this takes you minutes and hours. And as we can see here, it's already confirmed. And with that hustle, um, back to you. And you can check up in your iPad so, if you see the right result now. So you, you guarantee to me that the shoes will be manufactured and shipped so that we can back actually invoice in June, that's the point. We can invoice in June, and no. we can ship before the end of June, so we should be good with respect to your okay, uh, let plans me check. for June. Let me check. Let me check. The shoes, the sprinter shoes. There are the sprinter shoes. Where are they? There they are. The sprinter shoes are in, so it looks good. Actually, we are above budget then with this order. So please. Please use, use these other applications as well, so they from, see the whole thing from a business side. I understand that you only do manufacturing, but invoicing has to be aligned with quarters, and every quarter we have to show up in front of the financial analyst and tell them what's up and what's not. And if I have a shortcoming here, I get all these questions, and I cannot say then, oh, we ship it uh, two weeks later and whatsoever, so okay, next time. Use this application. Thank you very much, Peter. Um, this went well. Um,